hello everyone so in this quick tutorial i'm going to show you how to buy cryptocurrencies on binance the first thing you want to do is make sure you have downloaded the binance app once you download binance simply click on it and then go ahead to register an account now this is the page you're going to see once you have registered an account on binance then after that you simply head over to the bottom right corner and click on wallets and then on that wallet you click on funding now once you go to funding you click where it says p2p or anywhere you say p2p you click on p2p and then wait for the screen to load so once p2p loads you're going to see two options either to buy or sell now there are a few cryptocurrencies that you can actually buy or sell there's usdt btc busd bnb eth that's ethereum ngn and the, the dai token but for sake of simplicity i'm going to go with usdt so we can buy in usdt and convert to any other currency that we want to trade so i'm going to do a demo right now by actually going ahead to buy 10,000 naira worth of btc um worth of usdt so i'll just type in 10,000. that's the naira equivalent right there's other options but i just want to keep it simple when you click on 10,000, then you click on buy with zero fee and then binance will ask you to confirm your purchase so for 10,000 naira i'm going to receive 17.54 usdt and my payment method i've already added it if you have not added it binance will ask you to do so but i've added my payment method um already or oh, sorry the payment method i'm going to use to make the payment which is bank transfer and you can see the rate 569.99 and then i'll click on confirm purchase Using this option is the best because Binance will automatically pick a good um, and verified seller for you instead of you going to the P2P marketplace. That's for advanced buyers. So you're going to see this screen that says the order has been created and pay the seller within 14 minutes. Now, what you can actually do is to go over to the chat and you click on the chat just to make sure that the buyer is actually online. So you see the notes that the buyer has given you the buyer says don't include cryptocurrency related in the payment narration i don't accept third party payments no pos payments i try my best to treat all transactions as fast as possible so that is all good now what i'm going to do is on this page here i'm going to click on to payments page and then it will show me the contact details of the buyer right that's the the person i'm buying from so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to copy these details when you click on the bank account number just click on it and you'll be able to copy it and what you can now do is transfer this particular amount to this person's account and then you come back into the app and click on transferred notify seller so what i'm going to do right now is i'll head over to my banking app and i'm going to transfer this ten thousand naira to this particular account here all right guys so now i have made the transfer what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to click on transferred notify seller because i want to notify the seller that i've actually transferred the funds to them so i'll click on transferred notify seller and then it's going to tell me to wait you see it to say releasing now make sure you don't click anything on the screen here don't click on the cancel button don't click on the appeal button just give it a few minutes and the seller will actually confirm your order again the reason why we're going with this method is that it is the simplest one and you don't have to go back and forth negotiating or trying to look for a better buyer if you're an advanced person you can do that but for the sake of beginner purposes this is all you need to do and then we're simply just going to wait for a few minutes and once the buyer gets the notification that the money has been transferred to them they are going to release the usdt to us which is 17.54 usdt so let's just wait a few minutes and we'll get the confirmation that the crypto amount of 17.54 usdt has been released to us okay you can see it took less than a minute i think about one minute or so and now you can see the money has been deposited in our wallet now once you see this you can either rate the buying experience you can click on positive and then you click on done so you can see right here is successful and just like that 
I just spent 10,000 right now to buy 17.54 USDT. Now I'm going to click on done and then I am done with this. So I will click on back. And now as you can see in my funding wallet, I now have $17.53, which is the, the value in BTC 0 0.00030572, which is $17.53. And just like that, I have bought my what? I have bought my USDT. I have bought my crypto. Now in the same vein, if I want to sell this crypto, I would still go back to p2p and then i will just select the sell option and then i will click on all again and then i will click on sell with zero fee okay so i can't sell because the minimum is 20 usdt but you get my point that's exactly how you go about doing it and then the buyer will transfer the cash to you and binance would take this your usdt and give back to the person so that is a very simple way of buying and selling cryptos on Binance. In the next video, I will show you how to transfer this crypto to the wallet where you can now use it to buy and sell.